this tutorial we are going to make a working timer or a working clock and as a researcher you have several tasks uh, means research and teaching to make it easier to hold find out how much time you spend on the various tasks you should do a program like keep track of how much time you spend in a day on research teaching and lunch the program should uh, look much like uh, this figure and it is a current time and when you press on launch it's going to take how long uh, your launch has taken you have a, a, a education lecture and you are going to press it and your it uh, displays how long the lecture take time and you are going to research and press on research when you start your research and it uh, appear how long uh, it uh, took if the uh, sum of these is eight hours then it appear a blinking uh, button and uh, tell you that go home and you are going to press save and all those uh, uh, all those um, timer are going to be stopped and uh, it's safe uh, in a working time uh, document at the top of the window is uh, shown what time it is and I have already explained and your program must have two three classes one a program class with methods like main method and uh, another class clock display it has fields like hours, minutes, second, visa second. <laughs> Sorry. Properties, visa second, and methods. A clock display. Uh, it's a constructor. Clock display is a empty parameter v2 parameter v3 parameter or four parameters and get time method and set timer method and uh, time tick method and then you are going to use a number display and we are not going to use timer we are going to make our own time click time tick method and in uh, number display we have two fields max number or, or, uh, or number and property number and the uh, methods get display number increment number display and the uh, number display constructor with one argument the uh, parameter and number display with two parameters okay the number display class simulates a two digit number display the property number associated with the uh, underscore number field ensures that it is impossible to set a value less than zero and greater than the maximum allowed value underscore max number if an invalid value is entered one must argument exception cast the class has two constructors in one set number equals zero the method get display number returns the current value if the value is less than 10 a zero is added first string 
means that if the current value is 3.03 .03 is written uh, is 303 .03 is written with the increment method the current 17 value by 1 if the current value should be greater than the uh, underscore max number the current value is set to 0 the clock display class uses three number display objects to simulate a digital one clock display the boolean field underscore visa sec is set to true if you also want to sec uh, seconds to be displayed when presenting the time the get time sorry the get time method should return the current time of the form uh, this uh, form in the form of a string the set time method is used to set the time the default constructor should set the time this one uh, all designers must use the set time method to set the time the method time tick lets the uh, clock run for one second for this uh, task you, sh uh, you will create four clock display objects one that shows what time is uh, and one for each occupation the uh, clock display object that shows what uh, the time is when the program starts to be initialized to the right time using date time okay we are going to start a new program windows forms application name it and create it appears this window with a form to use the uh, toolbox toolbox view toolbox and it appears here and you use a uh, use a label and in uh, right side under property you are going to change the text visa second question mark and you have uh, four uh, checkbox uh, you are going to have uh, all and you are going to use the checkbox and uh, you are going to um, You are going to uh, it is checked. You select it checked. It is unchecked first, but you are going to select the check and uh, you are going to uh, name it as uh, design name is checkbox one and this one checkbox two and three and four and then you have a, a button you have a button and you call it a button launch you are going to use text launch and you are going to name it under design name it button launch and for lecture and for research and for save and here you are going to use a color back color and you are going to use 
blue and for this is for this is you are going to use that one or go to system or web or custom and you are going to use one of them and for research you are going to use line and for save you are going to use red one okay and then you have a another button a button red we call it and we are going to use it and another button inside and the um, the default is a gray light gray and you are going to have a and call it go home and it is takes is go home and the button name is the name is button go home and you have a label label warning and you are going to use for a color red and you are going to have a text you have forgotten to press on a button okay and we have a label here label time and uh, it is empty it hasn't anything until the program starts name is label time okay when we when we use it when we use this we are going to uh, double click of uh, all of them or otherwise you can only use right click view code and uh, it appear this window and uh, you are going to use a lot but before you are going to uh, create our uh, other uh, classes and for this you are going to right click on uh, over uh, file name and right click and use add a class and you name it and it appear it must be these uh, name spaces and you are going to call it number display and for this you have a, a global fields integer underscore max number underscore number and you have a property get return this dot underscore number set if value greater than zero and value less than underscore max number this dot underscore number is value else you must give a error message and we use it through new argument exception error invalid value the methods is um, uh, uh, get display number return this dot uh, underscore number dot string with two digits with two digits and then we are going to use the increment method if this dot underscore number plus one is greater than or equal to this on the um, this dot underscore max number then the this dot uh, underscore number is equal zero because it must start it again from zero until max uh, value and uh, else we 
be increment the number constructor number display with one argument max number and we are going to initiate and uh, we are going to <coughs> Uh, put a number equal zero it must start from zero again and another number display constructed with two argument if it is max this num uh, we use this dot underscore max number is max number and underscore number is this number okay now we are going to uh, clock display and we are going to create add a new class call it clock dis uh, display and in that we have uh, uh, global fields in cnt uh, string s uh, boolean uh, visa sake true uh, number display that that uh, class we are going to make uh, three objects of uh, form of number display class ours its uh, max number is 24 minutes max number is 60 seconds max number is 60 and we have property uh, boolean visa sec get return visa sec set this dot visa sec equals value constructors we have an empty clock display and we are going to initiate them and set time with uh, those uh, initiated uh, uh, values and in uh, second constructor with two uh, parameter uh, we are going to use the maximum value of hour uh, uh, is 24 of minutes is 60 and the uh, underscore hours dot number is this hour and underscore minute number is that minute and we suspect is false and we are going to put the uh, set uh, time and uh, until uh, 50 uh, 59 and the third clock display has three parameter over minute second and we define their maximum value and we put uh, the uh, over number that over minute number that minute second number three uh, uh, argument and the fourth clock display is over minutes second visa sake and we are going to put their maximum value and if visa sake is true uh, we are going to put those values in uh, their uh, variable and we are going to call set time show second and else if it is not second we are going to only call hours minutes and that second is 59 the methods get time we are going to uh, inter uh, define a string time equals this dot underscore hours get display number empty get display number is defined uh, there under we are going to call 
get display uh, number plus that colon plus this dot underscore minus dot get display number and if this assay is true we are going to return time this time plus semicolon and second otherwise return only this time set time with three parameter if hours is greater than zero and less than maximum number and minutes between zero and uh, max number second zero and max number then we are going to put uh, those uh, variables with our minute second else we are going to send the uh, invalid time time tick if this sec is true underscore second dot increment if second dot number is zero minutes increment if minutes number is zero and the second number is zero increment hour if hours number is zero we put hours zero else if it is the visa sec is not true we increment min minutes and check we put uh, we increment hours and if hours is zero uh, we put the hours uh, variable zero and we call after that again set uh, set time that is call it here okay now we are going to this form when you use the uh, view code and we are going to this and you must complete your uh, your uh, file with all those uh, uh, name spaces and uh, classes and then uh, you are going to in class form one heritage from form and it is global variable integers second launch minute launch over launch second research minutes research hours research second lecture minutes lecture hours lecture ticks ticks zero hour minute second and boolean b1 b2 b3 t t launch t lecture t research we are going to define four objects of type clock display with class. One is CD, CD launch, CD lecture, CD uh, research. And in form one, public form one, we are going to use initialize component and label time dot text is dead time dot not dot too long time string it started current time and in a private void form one underscore load we are going to use this dot visible is true application dot do events and lb label launch dot takes is cd launch dot get time and for lecture and for research the same with their uh, variables t is true 
while t is true try we are using try catch if <coughs> checkbox one is checked is true variable ss is label time dot text dot split with uh, color if ss dot length is two this is for when you want show a uh, second again array dot resize reference ss comma ss dot length plus one raise the length and SS2 equals zero, 00 initiate with zero, 00. CD is new clock display. Clock display CD. It is the conversion to integer of SS0, conversion to integer of SS1. Conversion of the this um, integer of SS2 and checkbox one dot checked and it is here with one two three four with four parameters. There, when we will show second okay and thread sleep 100 delays with one millisecond and application dot do event it must be to show the result if it is not checkbox if it is not true else variable ss we are going to this uh, split the a time and we are going to use a, a clock display new clock display integer uh, conversion of ss0 and ss1 and we are going to have a sleep uh, 100 millisecond and application do events is that one uh, cd dot time kick tick we call the um, method in uh, a clock display and we are going to make a label time dot takes equals cd dot get time and it is called a function in clock display if a button is clicked if b1 is true this is launch time uh, lbl warning dot visible is false and we call the launch time start launch time we have defined it on uh, uh, thereafter if b2 is true it is uh, for lecture the warning label is false and the lecture time we are calling the lecture time method if b3 is true this is for research the label warning is false and research time method is is uh, called else no button is clicked ticks plus plus start a counter and label warning is true and if because we haven't clicked any button and if ticks equals five each five seconds or less lb warning is uh, false and it uh, blinking is blinking uh, that you haven't pressed any key any button and ticks is zero catch we are going to use continue to make both both wires run at the same time 
and we are going to use continue and uh, it is uh, very important when you stop clock when you press that one and then you press the lecture the lunch time is there register it and the lecture starts and when you go to research the uh, lecture stops at that time and when you are going to back to lunch it's continued with the uh, with the rest of them <coughs> For this, you can have a double click on this and it appear that part. And you are going to use B1 true, B2 false, B3 false, um, T launch true, T lecture and T research false. For button lecture is B2 is true and the uh, T lecture is true and the rest of them are false and uh, <coughs> for button research B3 true and T are true the rest of them is false here must be false T research must be false okay now the lunch time method while T lunch is true try and catch if check button 2 check true we are going, uh, it means that show seconds and we are going to use uh, those and uh, if ss.length is equals to when you will show second again array.resize reference ss and ss length plus one and SS2 initialized with 0 and uh, <coughs> clock display launch is uh, call it this part with this parameter and uh, thread sleep is 1 uh, delay with 1 millisecond and application do event to show result else don't show second we are going to call the uh, clock display constructor with two parameters and thread sleep 100 and application do event and then we are going to call the CD uh, clock display for launch time tick uh, label launch.txt uh, we are going to put the time and we are going to count we call to count method to calculate the working hour and through exception new exception to make outer loop runs and catch is exception this is that exception and it is true new continue and it's continue when we come back and press again for lecture time we do the same uh, but t lecture is true and checkbox 3 and all of them are the same as uh, the other one for research time we do the same tr true checkbox 4 is checked and all those uh, uh, codes is the same as uh, above and then in count if checkbox 3 checked false second not shown variable s launch label lecture dot text dot split 
colon s1 equal 0 m s launch is 0 m launch is uh, integer uh, conversion of sl1 and for others for sl0 else if second is shown then we are going to uh, put S SL second for launch is in part of uh, SL2 if checkbox for check is false it doesn't show uh, second for research and we are going to do the same as for uh, launch for research and then uh, we are going to use second SL plus SR minus this uh, minute for launch and research always for launch and res uh, research and if second is greater than equal 60 minus plus plus second minus 60 and uh, if minus mean minute is uh, uh, greater than or equal 60 over uh, plus plus increment and minutes uh, decrements with uh, 60 if over greater than 1 application do event show result tick s00 increments start a counter for showing go home message and button go home dot visible true button red dot visible true and if tick s0 is second 3 we are going to use false for button go home and ticks uh, zero is uh, zero each three seconds each three seconds it uh, going to um, show and uh, uh, hide and it coming as blinking if ours equals uh, greater than 24 over is zero and uh, then we are going to go to um, double click on button a save button and it appear here and we are going to use uh, t equals false t launch false T lecture false, T research false, and string path equals empty. And we are going to call the count uh, method if checkbox 2 dot check equals false, second not shown. Variable SLU is label launch dot takes a split column. S launch zero, M launch, and H uh, over launch. It is uh, the SLU of one and SLU of zero. If second show, else it is check. We are going to <coughs> put the second for launch and we are going to add and you know that when you are wor working the launch time uh, that second 
we are going to call the launch and uh, we are going to have all of them because after we lecture and research and the uh, total for safe uh, when it is uh, eight hours then it is blinking when it is uh, when we are going to save we are going to calculate launch two and we are going to add launch over and we are going to check again the same as above and we are going to open file dialog ufd equals new open file dialog and if ufd dot show dialog equals dialog result dot uco path equals ufd dot file name stream writer sw file dot append takes path sw dot write line new line sw write datetime dot now plus that uh, point and we have a tab and we have a time colon space SW right over dot two string with two digits plus colon plus minutes dot uh, two string with two digits plus colon plus second dot two string with two digits and SW dot close we close the file and uh, it's uh, the point of uh, and for continue when we use the continue in uh, here we are going to define continue as a class continue uh, 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 heritage exception and we have a constructors continue continue string message a heritage base message and continue with a string message exception inner exception and the heritage base message inner uh, inner space uh, exception and another continuous serialization info info stream context context and heritage base info and context it uh, when you use continue it appear this one and you accept it only okay i hope that you have paused when i went uh, uh, through line by line i hope that you have paused the video and uh, copied the uh, code sources now we are going to run the program Debugging.
also the current time and it's blinking you have forgotten to press on a button and when I use don't show it's only minutes and now the seconds and I am going to start the lecture it's going quicker than usual because I have used the uh, quick otherwise it takes very long time and we are going to use launch We are going to go to lecture and it continues. And then you use this one, it's going to go quick. And we are going to use research. uncheck you must go home then it is and you use safe and it stops everything stops and it's going to ask you where you want a uh, uh, put and I have a document already mm. work time I add and uh, you are going to We are going here and open work time. The datum is 2020, 11, 29, and it appears here. And your work time is 1 hour 27 minutes 41 seconds. Okay, it was all in this tutorial. See you on next tutorial.